Long ago, in dream time, there were no animals, no birds, no trees or bushes or flowers. There were no hills or streams, no mountains, lakes, rivers, creeks or billabongs. The country was flat and empty, waiting. And no Barbies, barbecues. And no barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, okay. welcome to a special edition radio show, which is all about Rainbow Serpent Festival. Yes, it is. Because Iboga Records is going to Rainbow Serpent, and we're actually having uh, our first 20-year anniversary on Rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. So this yes. is super exciting, and there's actually all of us are going. Yes, which yeah. is Emok, MBMB, also yep. called Benil, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bizzle, Martin Weiss, and, and Alexander Decroix. Yes. Yeah, and excited to do the Iboga 20 year show, and uh, very excited to do it with Rainbow Serpent. And uh, we've been uh, almost two years in the uh, Work, a process of uh, creating a very special show that we will tour with all 2016 and 17. Big um, visual show, but more about that later. Yeah, let's get back to the music. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, Michael, you had chosen uh, the first track for Trip this evening. Switch. A Trip Switch track. Okay, which, which track is from, it? Yeah, it's taken from his upcoming album on Iboga Records, and uh, the track is called The Left Bank. All right. Well, let's let's check out the left bank. And he is to perform on the market stage uh, with the, um, and perform his new album and sound, as far as I know, and uh, uh, playing in the chill out stage as well uh, later on in the festival. Thank you. 
incredible atmosphere in this track by Tripswitch. Um, yeah, we were just uh, talking before about the market stage and, uh, well, some information about the marking stage about or from Rainbow is that it's uh, one of the stages which is open, uh, or it is the stage that's open the longest. It opens Friday afternoon and it closes uh, late on Monday afternoon. Um, and it's a kind of stage where you will find so much like diverse kind of music played. There's a lot of different music genres. And it's also a stage which is closely related to a lot of the costume parties which is going on out there. Yeah. You guys have any costumes planned for like Monday or something? Because I'm bringing a poncho. I'm definitely going to wear a poncho. We, we, we will uh, surprise for sure, but yeah. uh, we will bring the wigs and uh, funky, <laughs> funky uh, clothing. Definitely. Sweet. Okay, that's cool. And as you said, the trip switch will be performing on this market stage. Um, yeah. So uh, and, and other stages. Is there anything else that's uh, a stage worth uh, looking into? I guess there is, right? <laughs> the chill out, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Being yeah. a chill out man. Is that why you're saying it? Or you can find me there. Yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Who's uh, Who's going to be there? Who are you looking forward to? Master Margarita. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, a lot of others. I think we should wait a little bit with that because, uh, yeah. But uh, I don't actually know where everybody is playing now, so I'll okay. hold that for myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're still holding back with yeah. the with the announcing the full lineup of the show. So mm. of the festival, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And this is Trip Switch with the Left Bank. And um, uh, Trip Switch uh, is, um, as we said earlier, releasing uh, uh, his first album on Iboga Records uh, called Vagabond. Uh, probably um, it's going to be hopefully around March. Okay. We're planning um, a, a bit more work uh, with him on this album, uh, a, a proper pledge music campaign. We're going to print uh, vinyls again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, that's great. <laughs> back to physical uh, and real music and analog stuff. And uh, we're still waiting to get in uh, some really great design for his album and uh, a last track that uh, he wrote together with Gaudi uh, and uh, this needs to be mastered as well and then okay. uh, hopefully we can soon set the release date. We're very excited about this album and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Danceable. Really great tracks, yeah. Danceable and relaxing and... Yeah, because he's going from the, the chill out, like ambient kind of style that he used to do or probably also still does, or he still does. Um, and now he's, yeah. he's a little putting bit a beat to it, putting it four on the yeah. floor, yeah. yeah. It's, but still with this uh, nice cozy atmosphere and yeah, so uh, we're very excited fun. about that uh, for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, very nice uh, work from uh, Trips Rich for sure.
And Talking then, about Australia, we have uh, the next track is uh, by uh, You Own. Yeah, yeah, I picked uh, I picked uh, a track uh, from You Own and Out of Sorts. Uh, and uh, yeah, You Own is uh, it's an old friend of us, mm. and uh, we have a lot of respect for his work and dedication to the electronic music scene. He's uh, we are a real pioneer and really a big part of pushing the Australian scene and sound and uh, yeah it's touring and I've been uh, happy to uh, perform with him in many various festivals like Boom Festival and uh, Symbiosis Festival and uh, yeah uh, so I thought uh, why not pick something really Aussie and somebody who's really uh, pushing forward and 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 doing doing a difference yeah so yeah. here's a track from Ewan and out of sorts sweet the track's called 303 love yes and uh, yeah. i'm not even sure if this track is released or not but uh, <laughs> yeah here we go <laughs> <laughs> you guys come about Australia I mean from from being a Danish record label and then all of a sudden was it was it an artist that contacted you or did you guys go there first or I remember when we first met Antics um, they were on tour in Europe and uh, they played a gig in Germany and um, they drove all the way from Germany up to Denmark where we had a label party and uh, we met them at this label party and uh, we just started clicking right away and had a super fun time and they stayed a few days and uh, worked in our studio as well and uh, since then we have been doing several al albums with them and yeah they've been on tour here several times as well and yeah Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, N6 just to say it's from New Zealand, but uh, that, that kind of opened the door to the connection with the, with the scene in Australia and New Zealand, which kind of say is the same area, if yeah, yeah. other end, yeah, yeah. Of the, the end of the world, yeah. <laughs> kind of. And, uh, uh, and I, I remember first time I was uh, in uh, Australia, we went on a three month tour. Uh, because we got invited to play for New Year's Eve in the French island outside Melbourne. I was with Phony Orphans, with Jeppe, and we stayed three months and we traveled around Australia on various festivals. And uh, that, that ended, uh, that, that uh, tour was also my first um, time with uh, Rainbow Serpent and uh, where we met Frank. Uh, at that time and uh, a lot of our people uh, and artists and party hunters uh, and uh, I guess uh, since that trip and uh, yeah then 
we continued coming and uh, we even uh, continued working with with more Australian artists later on like Freck and uh, Sun Control Species yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah so Australia is uh, by far one of my favorite places in the world to go and, and play uh, the scene is uh, unique and different and uh, it has a very cool atmosphere and you feel very welcome always so That's a really, really fucking groovy track. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I must say. Yeah. yeah. Very, very nice one. Good find, man. Good find. Yeah. Looking very much forward to, to see you again, Yuon. And uh, I'm looking very much forward to hear Koletsky and Schwind. Yeah. Uh, Schwind, or oh, I don't know how you say it. Yeah. Sure. But um, this is Oliver Koletsky and uh, Schwind, uh, also known from uh, Still for Talent. And um, yeah, let's check it out. That's definitely gonna be a highlight set. Um, yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna be dancing. I'm guessing that's gonna be on a Monday. <laughs> sounds like a Monday at Mark's. Could stage. be.
there is a lot of a lot to see at the Rainbow Serpent, and uh, one of the areas um, which is very interesting, in my opinion, is uh, the village. In the village, you can find uh, yoga and dance and movement movement workshops. There will be a lot of massage and a whole healing area. Ooh. Yeah, we should go there. Massage. Have a treatment. <laughs> yeah. There is also this uh, visionary uh, art in the place they call Evolve Gallery. And I'm sure we can find a lot of uh, new uh, artists there, but also uh, some of them we already known from from other festivals. Uh, Boom yeah. and um, Eclipse, maybe? Some of the same there, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There will be a whole uh, Aboriginal ceremony and, of course, uh, a few workshops where you can pretend. For the kid, there is a lot of activities uh, and, of course, beautiful performances. So there's also this kid space. Uh, personally, I think I'll be there <laughs> a bit <laughs> in my penguin suit. <laughs> no, no, just joking. Yeah. Then there's this solar cinema, which is powered by the sun. Someone else we're looking forward to is definitely, or I'm looking forward to see, is uh, Monkey Safari. Indeed. I've been really like a big fan of them for, yeah, I, I'm guessing like three or four years. It was like um, back in the day when when uh, like artists like Faxa started to, uh, to, I don't know, he stopped playing the trance records for a while. And then he started playing the house music. Okay. And one of his uh, favorites was Monkey Safari. So he got me into that wave. And uh, yeah, now the scene is growing rapidly in Copenhagen as well. So uh, yeah, for me, this is something worth seeing. Absolutely. I saw Monkey, Fa uh, Monkey Safari live at Fusion Festival uh, in back in 2012, I think it was. It was the most incredible DJ set uh, ever like seriously ever i've been to yeah. and two years after three years after i'm still listening to the same set live from mm. fusion uh, i was there together with my brother and uh, after that beast vincent was actually playing and i just remember this day as like a wow. the most memorable day in my one <laughs> one of the most <laughs> memorable days in my life yeah okay definitely definitely but uh let's let's uh Hear some more monkey safari and uh, yeah, one of the more I want to see them at Rainbow Serpent. Yes, yes indeed. Indeed. And the track is called uh, Walls, right? The Walls, yeah. Alright. Enjoy.
very interesting area to, to visit will also be the permaculture gardens, all powered by nature. Yeah. Sunlight. And, and sunlight, which is nature. <laughs> What's going to happen there? Well, a lot of different workshops where you can uh, learn about Mother Nature and how to adapt, but it's better yeah. if you live in the cities. Yeah. Uh, then there is this solar cinema, which invites filmmakers to uh, bring their own work, if they have any. Uh, you can have a little taste of uh, all kinds of uh, movies and sit back and relax and uh, Look at some crazy, crazy film. Yeah, cool. I can uh, imagine it's going to be a great place if you've got some artistic uh, documentaries or whatnot knocking yeah. about. Then, then bring it and. Mm. and don't what be I like afraid. is that they're opening up for people to bring their own. I think that's a really good yeah. way of doing it. Yeah. If you made something at the festival with all these apps and stuff going on, like uh, movies just appear time very lapse. fast. Time lapse. Time lapse. Time lapse yeah. And stuff like that. Very cool. interesting. Yeah, a, a nice media. I'm not so much into it, but uh, I like looking at it. Then, uh, if you go into this yoga, you should visit the Lotus Temple. The Lotus Temple uh, offers a lot of different yoga sessions. And if you're more into diving deep into your inner self, you should visit the Elemental Temple, which is all about meditation. <laughs> yeah. I love to meditate. I'm not doing it so much. Um, I'm always saying it's about time, but I, I would have the time in my day. I'm just not good enough to, to meditate. Maybe I should practice that. A if you bit. love it, you should do it more. Yeah. Yeah. Are you meditating, Michael? Yeah, when I'm cooking. When you're cooking? That's my way of relaxing. I love cooking <laughs> and I know it sounds weird, but I don't sit uh, down and, and meditate. I'm, I never really... I ne never really could that, but I love cooking. I love spending a long time, and this is when everything else in like yeah. I, I, I mentally relax completely, and uh, I can just look into the pot and and, and just like just uh, empty my thoughts, you mm. know. And and yeah, Fantastic. I guess we all ha have our ways, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There is a last place if you are into all this massage and healing. You should definitely go there. There's a lot of therapies offered. Probably something like like Reiki or this Reiki kind of stuff, and yeah. deep tissue and yeah. relaxation and Shatsu. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> Swedish maybe. Sounds great. Yeah. Swedish definitely. So again, yes, this was Monkey Safari with walls that you also can find at the Rainbow Serpent. Yeah, and uh, for for the next uh, track, uh, I think I will. Uh, We're gonna pitch it up a bit, right? We're gonna. Yeah. yeah. So this is um, uh, we, we we're moving on to the. Um, I don't know what an Iboga release. Yeah, yeah, an Iboga <laughs> release from uh, from actually Tycon and me, a Critical Choice, mm -hmm. and uh, we all gonna perform that Tycon uh, with that show, Critical Choice, our show together. And Imog, I'm gonna play an Imog DJ set. Fantastic. And uh, this track uh, Roots is from uh, our album we released uh, last year, uh, and uh, yeah, so sit back, relax, and uh, join us on this journey. Yeah.
conscious awakening. Icon guys and uh, we're performing uh, and Philip, yeah. Sunday afternoon on uh, is it called a main stage show? Main it's, stage, uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, Frederick and Philip, also known as Tycon, is uh, bringing the next track, which is called still no name. There is no name for it. No, this is uh, a this very is a forthcoming track from their uh, their album that they're actually that the they're album pretty much is, done with now, it's, right? It's uh, actually done. The new type Tycon album is done, and um, yeah, I just got this uh, before going to uh, Mexico playing last okay. week, and uh, it's an absolute bump if you ask me, and uh, I'm really happy to hear. Or we are really happy to hear all of us that Tycon is uh, in getting uh, back to their like roots and uh, you really hear their unique analog style and uh, this is this track is a true gem for sure yeah uh, really inspiring yeah. really inspiring to hear them and uh, the album is uh, ready to release in uh, around march as well and uh, and i'm even thinking uh, that uh, we're considering uh, printing uh, some of this on vinyl as well Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Back to the roots. Back to the roots. And, uh, the roots. We, we need, we need uh, more physical music. Uh, the music uh, just uh, became ones and zeros and computer files on <laughs> people's computers. And 
yeah. there's no connection to it and if you really want to feel it you need to be able to pick it up yeah. and look at it and open it and, and and have some memories with it instead of it just disappears in some folder somewhere in your computer and yeah. that's why we uh, try to, to, to support uh, that uh, way of uh, releasing music still and we did for 20 years hey come on yeah yeah, yeah. sweet yeah actually their first uh, release on iboga was in 2000 on trypton so here we are 16 years later <laughs> amazing Personally, I'm very much looking forward to visit this Aboriginal camp. Uh, again, Aboriginal people are the oldest living people or culture on planet Earth. And uh, yeah, there is a lot of knowledge to share there. Um, they're hosting a lot of um, different workshops and uh, it's called the Kurung La. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, I'm certainly not. But uh, uh, <laughs> you guys look at me. Uh, it's called the Barkhot Camp. Barkhot Camp. And um, again, you can uh, do a lot of different traditional um, workshops there. Feather flower workshop. Yeah. Feather flower workshop. I, I never definitely tried think it's uh, worth uh, to check out. Yeah. Yidaki, which is didgeridoo, and a lot of other stuff. Check it out.
So Michael, you're you're a lot into food. I think you should go visit the Gurung La uh, Bak Pot Camp right? because they also make food, and you can make your own traditional oven, earth oven. Uh, Whoa! Yeah, maybe we should try and <laughs> try and do Cooks that. Uh, make some uh, some uh, uh, homemade pizzas or something. Yeah, why not? Um, veggies, veggies from the from the permaculture gardens wouldn't be bad. The so, next track is uh, by none other than Monsieur Ace Ventura. Yeah, uh, yeah. performing as a part uh, in uh, like in the night uh, as a part of our Iboga 20 years uh, visual show that we spent the last uh, two years of uh, planning, programming, uh, designing and uh, we were excited uh, to announce that uh, the the whole night and the thing, like uh, the whole night of uh, the main stage is um, uh, is made uh, with uh, a guy called Mark uh, from uh, Rest Production mm -hmm. in uh, London uh, that we start working together for our 20 years uh, anniversary uh, tour and uh, we're doing a um, 3D visual hologram uh, wow. really psychedelic on the main floor. Uh, and uh, we had the programmers uh, doing uh, uh, this new uh, technique and programming of um, of uh, 3D graphic for more than half a year now. And this is going to be our first show, so we're really excited. And um, people have to come see this because this is uh, never seen uh, before in our scene at all. And it's a completely new technique of uh, shooting uh, visuals on a uh, a transparent screen so it appears like a hologram uh, in uh, front of people in the air and uh, it's gonna be extremely psychedelic and it's gonna be very very nice uh, for uh, the, the best visual experience you can ever get okay so this was a shout out to everybody that are going to rainbow serpent festival Please be ready come and be ready the show. check out this show this is uh, it's been a lot of planning programming and designing and uh, again I must also reach out and uh, to Rainbow and uh, say we've been really happy uh, to work uh, with uh, all the technical crew uh, uh, Sad for, for making the contact uh, and uh, the other Sad for the technical crew uh, that Mark has been really involved with uh, with making 3D drawings, design set or programming building, 3D drawings <laughs> again, changing, cabling and it's been a very long going process and I'm very sure that everyone is very excited now to see uh, it uh, it all uh, happens yeah, yeah. Uh, in the end and uh, yeah the so it's it's going to be all night on the main stage and it's going to be a mind blowing uh, psychedelic show for sure enough said enough, enough said. said going enough back said.
and uh, Ace Ventura from Ace Ventura's album uh, Going Back, a uh, brilliant tune, uh, was uh, recently remixed by Vinny Vici as well, uh, that we released uh, not long ago in Evoca Records. And um, um, as uh, coming back to the Evoca 20 year show in Rainbow, uh, we're actually really happy that uh, we have a really wide spectrum of artists coming with us from the label. Mm. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I don't even have the numbers, but uh, I think I remember all of them. Atmos, uh, Critical Choice, Tigon, Amok, MVNB, Ace Ventura, Trip Switch, Alexander, Descartes, Vice is coming, and uh, B. Swenson. B. Swenson as well. So uh, we're gonna be a strong uh, Iboga crew. <laughs> uh, present in uh, Rainbow Serpent, which is an uh, extremely nice uh, way to celebrate our 20 years anniversary. Down Under! Down Under! It's uh, gonna be amazing. Yeah. Bringing the Scandinavian drums. And uh, off to the next, maybe I should let you guys take over the new uh, new track from MVMB, yeah? Yeah, well, I guess uh, I originally promised you guys that I was gonna uh, play this track in the Christmas show, but uh, for some reasons we decided to uh, play it now at the Rainbow Show. And it's a track that we are, it's coming on our upcoming album. And it's a track that we've done together with Morten Granau. And it's, yeah, the name of the track is Thought. And uh, yeah, hope you'll like it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I understood. How thought was just an illusory thing. And how thought is responsible for all of the suffering we experience. And then I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered. Who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything, everything, everything. Banel, where was this uh, voice sample taken from? Um, it was a sample we found uh, when we were searching a little bit about, and uh, it's actually Jim Carrey. It is? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Well, I'm yeah, not we, laughing, but I should. Yeah. Maybe or, we're no. quite good at the <laughs> is it, 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 is, vocal is it processing on it. The so. new Jim Carrey. No, well, it's it's. I think it was in in. Um, um, what was it? The, the the actual the actual text was coming from uh, a speech that he was doing before. Um, well, who's this guy who's doing the, the Power of Now? Uh, he got taller. He got taller. Exactly. So, and he's like basically warming up to to his speech by saying that he's you know using also and aware of the power of mm -hmm. now and the importance of it. So that's where it's from. Yeah. Warming up. What can uh, we expect at the MVMB set? Wow, we are really excited about uh, playing the set because it's actually our first really big gig as MVMB. Mm. We had a few uh, smaller ones in clubs and uh, smaller festivals, but this is going to be the first really big gig for us. Mm. And uh, we also just finished our album uh, these days and uh, it's coming out right after Rainbow Serpent. So we're going to present the whole new album yeah, at, the at Rainbow Serpent. Wow. And yeah, the album is called uh, Sleeper Must Awaken. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, interesting collabs going on as well. And we're trying to um, to fuse this uh, our our passion for techno together with uh, the the sci style that we're that we're deeply involved in. And uh, yeah, so the set is going to vary a lot. We're we're going um, you know with rolling basses. We're going groovy, going deep. We're yeah. And the, the the thing that we're trying to do definitely is just, just to keep it trancy, keep it uh, keep it flowing. It sounds like we're already in the bush right now. Huh? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs>
So Michael, this will actually be your second time at Rainbow. Yeah, actually, uh, I played uh, three years back as uh, Behind Blue Eyes. I played a live set on the market st stage. Uh -huh. And uh, that was a really great experience, actually. Uh, for me, Rainbow Serpent is definitely one of the top three best festivals of the world. Uh -huh. Simply because of uh, the feeling there, you know? Mm. A lot of people is dressed out as crazy characters and there's just a funny mood going on all the time, you know? And when you look around, you see crazy dressed up people and it's just really good fun there, you know? I had a, an amazing time there, definitely. And you definitely will again, yeah. I'm sure. I'm looking forward to hearing you in uh, the next MVMB. Yeah, we're yes. excited about it. Right. And uh, actually, the MVMB show is going to be the beginning of the hologram show as well. Okay. The whole intro and the beginning of the whole hologram show. So, uh, new album, first time playing, and first time in the hologram show. The screen one. You must buy uh, buy us a beer. Very honored. <laughs> Very honored to, to do that. Uh. Somebody needs a beer for free here. <laughs> yeah. We don't know who it is, but somebody. And a dingo. A dingo. <laughs> and a dingo in a clay oven. Of <laughs> freedom. Looking forward to hear MVMB for sure. We're looking forward to play it, that's yeah. for sure as well. And, um, um, I think we should take it a little bit down now. Oh yeah, yeah. It's that time of the the show. It's that time. Let's of move the to show. the chill stage, no? <laughs> yeah. Let's move to the chill stage together with um, Itai Berger, also known as uh, Kuken Dublagen and Master Margarita. They joined forces together and made this project called Cook and Rita. And uh, this uh, track, Tribal Mutainer, was uh, released on my compilation called Tupilac back in 2015. And um, yeah, we have, uh, we have uh, a great connection with uh, Itai because we are actually uh, sharing this uh, sofa beat all together. Which is a new, uh, our old label, Epoca, uh, is old label, label that we yeah. laid uh, down for a few years and then mm. uh, 
We decided to reopen it together with uh, Itai yeah. and uh, FM Bookings, Elite. and uh, we created a label slash booking agency yes. for uh, psychedelic dog music, slow beat, chill out stuff, and uh, we're very excited. It's all starting, and the new website is not even ready yet, and <laughs> we have a good bunch of uh, very interesting and very talented artists that... Uh, Actually, B. Svensson and um, Trip Switch. All part of that. All part of uh, Ku, uh, Master, Margarita, Master Margarita, which is playing in uh, in Rainbow as well, and yeah. uh, uh, we have uh, Desert Dwellers, Gaudi. Uh, wow. Amphiogenic, carbon-based life forms, a lot of very interesting artists. Yeah, so all all these big festivals around, like Rainbow uh, Soap and, and and a lot of others, they always have this. Amazing areas for chilling out and laid back music and mm. like me and Benel, we've been doing a Iboga for 20 years and now you guys are part as well. We we always enjoy it and always since the very beginning supported this kind of music and we re we made a lot of releases, uh, chill out, downbeat and uh, it's it's been a little less uh, some years back but now we're really uh, putting a lot of effort into to to this as well as uh, helping uh, developing artists in, in this scene as well and uh, because uh, it that, is that important it's, it's important, important for all the parties that there is there needs to be ups and downs yeah. and lefts yeah. and rights no mm -hmm. because uh, it's all a balance and uh, this is what we enjoy yeah especially when you when you're out uh, Rolling around at a festival for let's say 15, 20 hours straight on the <laughs> dance floors, and you need somewhere to go and just hang out and chill out and share some stories and whatnot.
Yep. It's time to get silly. Yeah. And it's time to listen to, to one of the local guys from Melbourne that uh, I think we're all looking very much forward to here. This is going to be amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is Spoonbill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, definitely I'm looking forward to this guy. He's uh, the owner of uh, Precious Omelette Records. And uh, actually this track is chosen by none other than uh, one of uh, the upcoming Iboga artists. Uh, Sean Tusen. Boy de Bajan chose Boy. this track for us. Nice new yeah. glitch sound, yeah? Yeah. This is something which definitely is kind of big in the in the rainbow scene. Um, mm-hmm. I've been watching a lot of the videos throughout the years, and like names like names like Opio or or yeah, a lot of other guys are, are dropping a lot of this glitch kind of music, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Did, was it big when you guys were there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it's, it's, yeah. it's big, and the Aussies love it, and yeah. it's, it's a big part of the electronic psychedelic culture, I guess. Very big part. Fantastic. Mm. This and track is called Wooden Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna come party to this. Let's yeah. just hear it and quirk out. <laughs> This wooden spoon is taken from the album called Zoomorphic. Yeah. So, um, thank you for listening out there. I hope you will come and join the Iboga 20 years. Come and join us. Come and join us for a dance, for a laugh. We can't wait to be there. We can't wait to uh, experience everything that we're all going to experience. And bring us something cold because we'll feel pretty hot down there. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That's definitely right. Thank you so much again. Thank you a lot and uh, see you rainbow. See you rainbow. And uh, Australia. One last thing. One last thing. Harden the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.